These are 6P blocks. You can use either salvage cells like these. Put the negative terminal down. One, two, three. You see you don't have to take off the spot welding tabs when you use battery blocks. And then we can put the top on like this. Boom. Or, of course, we can use new cells like these queen bee cells. Go ahead and put those in. Sort of snap into place and the magnets hold them in. Okay, and now we can put the top on. We're sure that we got all the positives up, otherwise, we'll have a big short in our hands. Ready? And there we go. Now we take a look at these plates. Are they aligned? Do the holes, do these holes go right through the centers of the cells? Yes, this one does. This one's close, but let me slide it over just a little bit. There it is. If we want to connect these guys in series to the next battery block, we use a series plate and it just slides in here like that. Okay, let's put some nylon bolts on it. Each battery block comes with these uh, 10 to 12 gauge ring terminals that slide over the bolts. Okay, and now we've got to put nuts and washers on the other side. So we'll slip over some washers. The easy way to get these fiddly little nylon nuts on is just to press it with your finger against the block like that and then to turn the head of the bolt. That way it goes on, it lies flat and goes on straight. Okay, got that. Let's go ahead and tighten it. Here we go. Like all battery blocks, these heads are designed to wiggle like this. The plates stay attached, the blocks are in there firmly, but they're designed to wiggle. And the reason is that when you go to put your connecting bolts through, you know there's some wiggle room in here and you can do adjusting without breaking the tight contact with the cells. Let's go put some current through this and see how it does. Here we've got a six pack with some other high capacity cells and we're going to hook it up to the Tenergy and the Tenergy is showing zero amps upper left corner and the Tenergy is powered by this battery block over here by these uh, simple magnetic connections. And there's a resistor bank that we're going to be uh, loading up. All right, let's load it up. It's connected now. And we're drawing about, once again, 50 amps, 115 watts. Let's check the temperatures. Ninety-five degrees, it's going to start getting a bit warmer. Let's look at the cells. Ninety-three degrees. They're about the same temperature, 95. And let's look over here at the resistors. Two hundred and five degrees, two hundred and ten. So the battery's putting out a lot of power, forty seven amps, and the battery blocks are easily handling it. They're not heating up. The wires are starting to feel a bit warm because they're carrying a lot of current. 